guys. Um, this is a quick comparison from for the Romans props. Um, V4, Mark 1 and Mark 2 version. Uh, this one here is Mark 1. This one here, the Mark 2. Um, first off, one thing I've noticed is control box. Now, the holes go all the way through. This isn't a separate plate on here anymore, so it's the same level all the way across. And obviously it hasn't got the the line down the center on it. Um, there's the old one. This is the old one, and the plate goes on there. And both of these are customer savers, by the way. Um, obviously, I had the Mark One version of it first. Now, the customer of my Mark One saber. <laughs> at great expense and he's not very happy about this he had another plate cut laser cut to fit the large triangles now the new one has got large triangle holes so you can put large led triangles in the old one you couldn't do that i haven't got that plate here the customer um, didn't send it back um, but he had them machined the other thing that my customer did is he had this what roman has now made is I um oh, blade plug screwed in. Um, this is all one part now, so th this ring piece isn't like this version, where you take it out and you've got basically and effectively a V2. And my customer wanted the V4, so he wanted this ring. So from the same machinist over in Ireland, he um had a ring version made as well. And just to prove it is the ring version, there you go. And he did this all the while, thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to do this. And then Roman went and made one himself. Now, just so you know, these aren't the same size. Um, you can clearly see this is longer. And the reasoning behind it was, he's looked at closely at screen captures of this and this is definitely longer than this version that Roman sells. Um, there's the original one next to it again. And he based this scowl on the screenshot where you can clearly see it's definitely longer like this in the screenshot than it is short like this. Now there's two things that this has made a benefit for. Adding this extra lip on the outside edge has extended the blade depth, but not only that, adding this extra depth has made the blade depth better. So I'm hoping once it gets a blade in it, it's not going to suffer the same problem with blade wobble that the um, other fin neck sabers all suffer from. Um, the one thing I have noticed, which I'm quite happy with, because I haven't seen this for a while, because this part here was sent off to the machinist so he could match just the size with it is the brass is weathering down really nice and going nice and dark whereas when you get them they're clean and polished and almost like that so yeah if you don't want this polished effect just leave it and it'll go a nice dark color just like that so yeah there there's his um custom machined blade emitter that he had done he's got a few machine marks here and there but He's going to have it slightly weathered anyway, so you won't even see those um, machine marks on the back edges there once the weathering's done on it. But um, looking at these myself, I'll take this one over this one. Def this one definitely looks correct for the picture of the screenshot that I've seen, and obviously the benefit of the extra blade depth as well. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that Roman has changed on them or not let's have a look see about the positioning of um looks like the blocks uh oh right the d-ring hole in the old one in the, the mark one is bigger than the d-ring hole in the mark two um where's the other parts for this And the plate is the plate the same? 
plate. Ooh, is the plate the same? The plate's different as well. So the new plate has thinner lines. The old plate has thicker ones, as you can see in this picture. Um, what about the screw the pommel in? If I can do this left-handed. So pommels in. Um, actually, I think could be a slight thickness difference as well in this. Am I imagining things? I think the Mark One might be slightly larger at the back. The machining on it could be, or it might just be a trick of the light. But it definitely. The blocks definitely look slightly larger, slightly longer as well than the blocks on the Mark II. Um, how about control box size? Uh, so in terms of a control box, all sort of well, it looks like the control box was taller on the Mark One as well. Uh, without measuring it, I can't be for certain, but just putting it on that back edge there. Yeah, it's taller. So the control box on the Mark 1 is slightly taller as well than, than it is on the Mark 2. So there's a few few differences that are obviously highlighted in it. Um, looks like the rib section. The, oh, the rib section's longer as well. Okay, it's about three, four mil longer, maybe. I'll just use a tape measure. I've got one here. Uh, so, oh. so it's around about. Three and three quarter inches, the old one. Yep. This is hard work, one handed. Yep, the new one's definitely under it. It's not three and three quarters, it's definitely a couple of fractions under. Um, what that would be in millimetres, I have no idea without. Let's try and have a read in millimetres, shall we? So it's 94mm, the old one, uh, the new one, and the old one is 96, so yeah, just over 96. So the old ones are around about 2.2, 2.3 mil longer in the rib section. So there is a few differences. This, um, let's put that in. Yes. Stand them up. Yep, and you can see the height difference. Although this obviously is bigger than the original one still screws down to the same amount but also you can see another key part there that i didn't notice is this back edge is a lot larger on romans and this is a lot smaller now i'm thinking that this has been matched either to the original one that was on it which it hasn't the original one's the same size as the new romans one uh, yeah it looks like romans made this slightly longer as well Compared to the Mark 1. So he must have had a look at the same screenshot and thought to enlarge that as well. So let's have a quick look down there. Yep, he's definitely made that rear section longer as well. So, guys, any of you that have got the Mark 2, you've also got more blade depth to my, uh, 
decrease the amount of blade wobble you're going to get with the fin necks. Um, sorry about the shaky picture, trying to do this one handed, one on the camera, one with the parts, but well, I hope this um, helps you guys out that are looking to get the, the Roman props Luke version 4 Mark 2 and for those of you that have got the uh, Luke version 1 of the Mark 4 or Mark 1 of the version 4 whichever way you want to look at it I um, hope it gives you an idea of the differences in them and whether you want to swap from a Mark 1 to the Mark 2 or not it's up to you well, thanks for watching anyway bomb out